Hello friends, welcome back to my channel F Sheikh Excel Master and this is your friend Farah Sheikh and today we are going to talk about index and match function in Excel and we are going to see how to use it and understand the common mistakes we do while doing the match and index function. So let us dive in and see in detail. Well index and match function is work similarly like a VLOOKUP function but the only benefit we get with index match function that it can read the information from right to left, from left to right, center to right from the data. Whereas VLOOKUP only search the information from left to right. So in this example, what we are going to see today, that once we select any country name and the sales volume, what we have it over here, we would like to extract the sales volume, which is 323. Now before we look the syntax of index function, I would strongly recommend you to see the video of the match function to understand in detail about match functions because that's a basic and it should be clear before you proceed further with index and match function. Let us see the syntax of the index function equals to index. Now the array which is there it is the source of our data where the data is lying now it's very important to select this array correctly to match the row number and the column number if i'm selecting my data from countries from a2 to m8 then my row number and my column number will be different and if i'm selecting from b3 to m8 then again my column number and row number will be different for the data so it is very important to ensure the array what you are selecting it comma so in this case our row number will be 2 it will be starting from the row number 3 as you can see the position of india is on 2 comma and my column number will be 1 is for January and second is for February. So again 2. Enter. We got the correct number 323. Now let us understand the row number and the column number equals to match. The lookup value is India. I'm looking up where? In this range and I'm going to make this an absolute range comma and we want an exact match excellent so that's the row position number of India on that given range now let us see the column number match February and this is the absolute range comma the exact match so this is a column number so we have selected the range from January to February and February comes under the second column so we got the second number now let us see March so it is coming at a 3 so basically that's a column number position from that match range we have given if you apply index table array should be from here absolute and my row number comma my column number will give me 118 now let me apply the range from the entire table we are going to make it as an absolute we're going to select this row number comma and this is my column number and this time we got the information wrong this is a common mistake what we usually do when we are working on index and match function so as you can see over here the index over here the starting range is from the row 3 and here it is from row 2 Whereas the column is B and the column here is E. In both the arrays, the position of my source is different. 
So to match the position of my source, I need to make sure that my match formula is also in line with the table arrays. So if you will see the match function, the starting position of the row is from three. Whereas in this case, it is starting from two. And when we come here, look, the starting position of the column is from B, whereas our index array is from A. That's the reason we are not getting the correct answer. Now to fix this, we need to fix our match formula e equals to match lookup value is India and country, the row should be starting from A2 absolute and should be exact match close enter. So you got the position India which is number 3 one two three in this case selection was from china so one two that's my position let us talk about the column number match march comma and we would like to match from a to make it an absolute range and an exact match enter so this time it is coming four so one two three four that's March and previously the range was from column B so one two three now let us fix this formula we go here and here enter now we got the correct number let me change the country now to saudi arabia and this time we are going to join the index and match function equals to index this is my array this is my data absolute reference comma the row number we'll write match and the lookup value is the row number of Saudi Arabia and we are going to look up in this row okay make sure that the row number is matching absolute reference comma exact match close so we got the position of the row of a column we will say match the month which is March comma this will also be starting from column A. Why? Because we need to match this A with column A. Absolute reference, comma, exact match, close, and hit enter. Bingo. We got the correct answer. Now let us change any country name. Saudi Arabia, we will be changing to June, that works perfectly fine. Amazing. Qatar, we have UAE, and we would like to see the sales for the April, and let us see for the January. So, this is how you work with match and index function. So when you are doing the match and index function you have to always take care of your array selection this is the place where many people make mistake including myself when i was learning match and index function i used to always mess up with these arrays uh, these things used to never come up to my mind i used to just get confused and then i used to just do my formula with the vlookups but once i master my skills with match and index trust me i forgot about vlookup but I will never forget that VLOOKUP had always saved up my life <laughs> in many places. Though match and index is an awesome function and it can be really helpful to extract such kind of an information. So all you just need to master is the array and the match function. That's all you have to do. And if you make mistake, nothing to worry. Give a try.
try it again decide that you have to learn this one because many people skip this match and index function because they find vlookup is quite easy trust me my friend this is much easier than vlookup and if you have any queries about match and index function you're still finding it very difficult you can personally buzz me on my facebook page so i'll try my best to support you and i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update and as usual i'll be keeping a soft copy of this file on my facebook group page so you can download from there and give a try by yourself so signing off for the day your friend Raj Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. Have a great day. Happy learning.